One of the most important reasons for this journey home was so that I could confront Imelda myself and ask her to account for her family's rule. After weeks of refusing us an interview, we decided to ambush her at Congress to find out why she hasn't apologized and, in fact, defends her husband's record. How would you like to mark your husband's rule? Oh, I, thought, I think it was the greatest. It was, it was really awkward when, when Marcos became president. We had no freedom, sovereignty, justice, democracy. In the end, she let us into her office for what we thought would be just a few minutes of interview time. But she kept us there for an hour and a half. And this is the story of the, the Marcuses. Use power for peace. Yes. Use beauty for love. Peace and love together is infinity. And, it is, and this is forwarded by the greatest mathematician of the century because he said this is the, 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 the most, uh, this is mathematically perfect, this ideology and theology. There is a sense that she is slightly unhinged. But I still needed to ask her why she persecuted my family and so many others during martial law. People have disappeared and no, not no, come no, back. No, no. There was a trial. Mrs. Marcos, what about my family? Remember my mother wrote a book about your early childhood life and you didn't have a good reaction to it at the beginning. I did not have any reaction because many of them was not true. My father was not impoverished. My father was a doctor of laws. Look at me. I'm one person who... I'm looking at you. Don't worry. <laughs> I had one person, you know, I am one person whose life was changed as a result of the martial law because my mother dared to write a book about you personally. Perhaps I am even representative of many people who would like to talk to you to say, recognize but, but what they, really happened to us. But after you us. have written that, did I ever confront you or your mother? Never. Never. After that was written, so many books have been said about me, written about me. Did I confront anybody or slap their faces or kick them or kill them? No. There is divine justice. I, I am a believer. I don't even wish confidentially in my heart evil to those people who did us so much harm and pain. No. My mother showed me a picture of you meeting with Ninoy Aquino just a couple of months before it, his assassination. Two, a month or two. Did you know anything about the assassination before it happened? No, 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 no. And, and there was no reason. What for? And I liked Ninoy. I knew even Ninoy before I met Marcos. But he's dead. He's dead under your rule, under the Marcos rule. May I ask you to look in your heart and look at I'm the not life that you in my heart. Had. I'll look at God. I'll look at straight at God. And he can strike me dead right now. Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. Marcos was a man of peace. He enriched himself, didn't he? How you really? he were was enriching rich. yourselves. He was rich. He was rich when he, he and I got married. In fact, before he became president, he was number four. And you can see that in an interview in the Reader's Digest. He was number four in the payment of taxes. But Mrs. Marcos, isn't it true that $10 billion of the Philippine treasury money um, went missing? That's not true. That's not true. Because then we sh I should have been in jail already. I'll show you the documents. Well, where is the money though, madam? If you, it's okay, I, you don't need to show But yeah. we have not stolen any money. We well, were the one who, yeah. who, who, who were very... One moment. We expected to see some sort of evidence of her innocence. Instead, Imelda showed us volumes filled with nostalgic mementos of her glory days. Ah, this one says Libya. This is Libya. This is with the 29 countries of the world. And this of is the Islamic conference. And this is you with Saddam Hussein. With Saddam. So, and if you saw, and if you saw the documentary they did, Imelda Marcos conquers Iraq. But there weren't any pages about her humiliating escape to exile, driven out by the fury of the Philippine people. 
Ferdinand Marcos died in exile. His remains are now preserved in a mausoleum in his home province of Ilocos Norte, where he's considered a hero. When you go to Ilocos and you see your husband there, what do you think of? What goes through your head? Every time I go there, I thank the Lord. Lord, thank you for giving me the privilege of being by the side of a man touched by God. When they ask me, and I, and I was truthful about it, if, if uh, you had something on your tombstone, you said, what would it be? I said, here lies love. Because, you know, it's funny. It's wonderful to be loved, but it is more wonderful to have someone to love. And if you have love, you can conquer everything. There's worse to come. As for Imelda and me, she'd rather we part without any bitterness and set her eccentric charm on at full blast. Let us save the world. Mm -hmm. The Muslims are nice people. Mm -hmm. They are great. Mm -hmm. Even arithmetic, so many things were started by them. And more than that, Islam is peace. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And and we had no we had no intention of imprisoning you or what. Believe you. you me, God okay. knows this. God knows. Thank you. Thank God you. bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that went on for way longer than I expected it to, and. Um, I found myself feeling much sorrier for Mrs. Marcus than I had expected. I mean, there were moments when I was furious with her for... I think she truly believes the things that she said to us. Some of it was plainly nonsense. Uh, some of it, I think, was a person towards the end of her life trying to make sense of it. Somebody who came from very specific circumstances. Um, I must say, I feel tired, um, a little exhausted. There were moments when I felt close to tears and even nauseous. Uh, strange. <laughs>